Hey everyone, it's Katrina, and welcome back to episode 7 of Everglades National Zoo. It's been a couple weeks since we've built anything in the Everglades, and that is because I just started my new franchise zoo, Amani Zoo, and the last two weeks have been episodes of that. And it's been really fun so far. I highly recommend you go check those out if you haven't already. It was my first time ever trying franchise, and so far I've built a lemur habitat and a koala habitat, and it's gone a lot better than I was expecting. So it's been a lot of fun, so go check those out if you haven't already. And in today's episode, we're building a habitat for some Bengal tigers, which I was really excited about because Bengal tigers are pretty awesome. And I built this little shelter for them. It's like a temple, and it's kind of like the one in the pygmy hippo habitat and I really like the temple style so I decided to go with that again because I think that it fits with the Bengal tiger really well too. And I actually have kind of a funny story about this episode. So I was trying so hard to get a white Bengal tiger because I think they look really cool and I really wanted to try to get one and since it's sandbox it's a lot harder to get one but it's not impossible. I've actually done it before using the method I did today. But I spent over an hour trying to get one and it was complete chaos and I ended up not getting one. So what happened is I think there's like, there's pretty much two ways that you can get an albino in sandbox. You can either breed one yourself or you can go into the market and buy all the um, animals, say a Bengal tiger in this case, off the market and just keep buying them until a white Bengal tiger shows up. But then your trade center gets full and then so you have to sell all the tigers in the trade center. But the thing is, some of them you can't trade when you just, because when you're buying them all off the market, you don't really pay attention to anything. You just buy them all. But some of them you can't sell right away. So you have all these tigers sitting in your, what's it called, trade center. And there's, you don't know what to do with them. So, and you need to keep clearing out your trade center because you keep buying these tigers trying to find a white Bengal tiger. So what I did is I put all the tigers in a habitat and ki this kind of sounds really bad and kind of sad, but I kind of just had to wait for them all to die uh, because that was like the only way to get rid of them, which it, it's, it does sound sad, but it is only a game. So I did that and I, I tried so hard to get this white Bengal tiger. I did it before in a different sandbox zoo and it didn't take me that long, but I could not find a white Bengal tiger. And I probably had over a hundred tigers in one habitat and my zoo was going nuts. It was kind of broken and it was complete chaos. And yeah, I, I, I gave up. I told myself I wasn't gonna get, give up, but I, I gave up. It was, it was nuts. And it was affecting like other habitats too. Like all my capuchin monkeys died, all of them. And I had to buy all new capuchins and everything in the whole zoo was going crazy. So I don't recommend you try doing this or if you do try doing it, I would recommend saving your zoo right before you start so you can go back later. And if you give up, you can go back to where you started and I, I forgot to do this and I did end up saving it when I like a little after I started but I was able to go back and I still had some tigers that I had to wait to die for for them to die um, so it, it, it did take a while it was a huge waste of time it overall it wasted like two hours and so yeah I don't recommend you doing that um, I would have been worth it if I had gotten a white Bengal tiger but I didn't so yeah, it, it wasn't worth it, um, but it was pretty stressful, but now I have this story to tell you all, and hopefully you can laugh at me, but, um, so on with the build some more. Like I said, I built this little temple shelter, and I built a waterfall over there, and it's like a man-made waterfall because there's no source of water that's flowing into it, so it's kind of just like a fake waterfall that I added, and I think it looks pretty nice, and I put these little other temple structures up on these rocks and I wanted the tigers to be able to go up there and so they can't couldn't climb the rocks but on the one in the front I built like this little structure with the some of the wood climbing pieces that I was hoping they would climb onto and their traversable area shows that they can climb on those but they can't 
I don't know why they don't do it and when they can't like get off it and go onto the temple which realistically they should be so they don't go up there but you can like move them up there but they won't leave um, so it, I got some screenshots with them up there so that was nice but they don't walk up there on their own but I still think the little climbing structure I made for them walking up there looks pretty cool and I only made that on the front one and not the back one and then I added a bunch of ivy, of course, on the temple. And I like to sink these mossy rocks with flowers in into the temple pieces a lot. Um, I think it gives it a really nice effect. And then the same foliage we've been using. The space behind this habitat is a big open space where towards the edge of the map where I'm not going to put anything. And it looks a little messy right now. I kind of just copied a bunch of trees over and randomly placed them and put some bushes down. So it's probably not going to stay like that because it, it doesn't look that great right now. So hopefully I'll be able to make that look a bit better later. And then I added a bunch of bamboo along the back of the habitat just to kind of block it off and make it seem a little darker. And we have three baby tigers, which are really adorable. I love the baby tigers. They're so cute. And some things about tigers is they're the largest big cat species, and their canine teeth are also the largest cat teeth there are. And Bengal tigers have stripes that are on their skin and their fur, so they're not just on their fur. Their stripes are on their skin, too. And they use those stripes to camouflage when they're hunting, which they primarily do at night. And then they sleep throughout a lot of the day. And their biggest threats are poaching and habitat destruction. They are labeled as endangered. And there was a total of eight, I believe, tiger species, but I think three of them went extinct. But yeah, tigers are really neat animals. I really love them, and thankfully there is a lot of conservation efforts out there to help their populations. And the next steps for Everglades, I'm not quite sure at the moment, because I'm not sure if next week will be another Everglades episode or if I'm going back to Amani Zoo. Um, I guess I'll just see what I'm in the mood for. But next for this zoo, I'm not sure what animal yet. I do want to start looping back to where the marshlands area because I do want to start working on that area soon um, because I do I I want this zoo to be pretty big but at the same time I've been using a ton of pieces especially with foliage and rocks and I'm not really sure how big I'll be able to get it to go so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see um, for next animal wise I'm I did think about doing the orangutan or another primate but we'll just have to wait and see that's not final yet I haven't made up my mind yet and that's all I really have to say for this episode there's not much left because besides that incident where I had a hundred tigers this didn't take that long to build um, so if you would like to receive any updates from me feel free to follow me on Instagram and like if you enjoyed the video and comment if you have any suggestions and if you haven't feel free to subscribe if you would like to and I'll see you next time enjoy these next couple minutes or so of the speed build mm -hmm.